Hello all, welcome again. Uh, this time it's the Millites Christie versus my Anglo Saxons. Again, we're down at Paul, and this is just testing out the new President Cross, so I haven't had a real chance to try it. Um, but out of all the scenarios, this is one that I did practice at my own club. Um, I forced somebody in with uh, some fantasy models just to represent him. Uh, so I never did a battle report for it. So I have put the heads up on my opponent here who hasn't tried the scenario at all. And we're playing uh, Salt at Dawn. So this is the battlefield and the units taking part. As you can see, it's not very much on here at the moment. Um, this scenario, the um, units are made replaced with objective markers. Um, in my case, I have my sheep and a herder, and my opponent has the shields. So you don't know what what who's got what. Um, you can choose to reveal them at the beginning of your activation phase. But up until then, they don't count as any units, so no saga or anything. So they move like infantry, um, they can't go within M of the enemy or within M of another token. If a revealed unit goes within M of a token, it has to stop and has revealed the token. Um, so it's quite an interesting idea this. Um, I do like the idea of not knowing where your opponent's units are. So this is my opponent's side. Um, yeah, I can't really tell you what it is because I can't remember. Huh? And I think it's almost mine, but there is one hidden up in the tree there. Again, I know he's got cavalry. So I'd Try and use the train to my advantage. So my opponent decides to do nothing in his turn. Um, it doesn't even reveal any of the guys, so he's not going to be generating any saga dice. So my first turn, um, I may as well take the fight to him. Um, try some revealing shenanigans because I know I've got the uh, advantage now. Um, so I push everything towards him, and I reveal my warlord and his little bodyguard unit. Because uh, I can move them with the ward's ability and get my sag on some defense, just in case. So, my opponent's turn, he just decides to build his crossbowmen, but unfortunately, can't shoot anything because you can't shoot or attack uh, markers or anything. So, into my turn, um, I put my sag dice down and then try and reveal um, my, one of my units because I feel I want more sag dice and try some trick reveal and attack um, tricks here and see what I can do. Um, again, in my opponent's turn, he refuses to do anything. Um, it doesn't reveal anything, just leaves his crossman on the hill. And um, so, in my turn, what I do is I put my saga dice out and reveal my levy. I then push my 12 man unit forwards to reveal his marker and then use my levy to shoot at them and cause a couple of casualties there. And then again, in the next turn, um, unfortunately, my opponent seems very lost on what to do here. He doesn't seem very happy. He's only got two saga dice, but won't reveal anything else. So in my turn, I'll reveal um, my other 12-man unit, uh, just so I can get a charge on here. And what I do is I shoot first with my um, gels, and then charge in. And so I do one damage with my range, and then get to combat. But in the combat, even with my 12 dice, um, I don't think I played anything because I was going to wait for the next round because I had a feeling he'd want to charge in with some big units, so I didn't play any Saga abilities. So I went in there with my 12 dice against his 4. I think he had a few defensive abilities. Um, he lost 1, I lost 2, so I lost that one, uh, which wasn't what I was expecting. So the overall battlefield is currently looking like this. Um, and the Scoring on this game is slaughter points, so um, it's the normal uh, every Earth Guard's worth a point, boys, every two models is worth a point, and every three, which is quite cool. Realizing he has to do something, we're getting on um, to turn, I think this is already like turn five or turn six. Um, he ha has to really do something to get some points here. He reveals the rest of his army. Um, so he's got a unit of foot warriors on the left there, a unit of mounted warriors, um, the knights are his hearth guard unit and his wolves next to them. He has crossbow and shoot and pop off one of my chaps. Uh, lucky I had one of my um, I think it's overlap shields or something, gives me plus one armor against shooting. So that cancelled out the crossbow and advantage there. So that's all he can do. Um, so at the end of my turn we're looking something like that. So in my turn I charge in and kill off these four remaining warriors. <laughs> and I lose another two chaps here. Um, not quite what I had planned. But things here go horribly wrong. I have my big unit of 12 um, warriors which I throw against his hearth guard. 
Um, he's got eight of those. With with the amount of attacks he had, I mean, I know I had a point of fatigue on me, uh, but so did he because I wiped out his warrior unit. But unfortunately, he managed to wipe out all twelve of my guys. I think he used some abilities. I can't remember which ones. And yeah, really smashed him apart and only killed four of his. So now he's in the lead on uh, points there. Um, that little sheep there is my marker. I've moved him here because um, you can actually stall people's movement with your markers. Uh, they come with an M, they have to stop their movement. So what I did, I put him here um, in case he wanted to have a go at my warlord. Uh, the chance of him having enough moves to do it was um, few and far between. So uh, yeah, that, that was all he was there. It's a bit of a sneaky thing to do. But um, anything that will help my guys is great. So on to turn 6 and finally my opponent's deciding to get stuck in and charges into my unit of warriors with um, his hearth guard unit um, yeah I lost 3 for the loss of 1 he then spends his points to bring his warrior mounted warriors across to reveal my last 12 man unit and we're looking kinda like this so at the moment I counted up points my opponents in the lead so I have to make a quick grab so what I end up doing to get my points is I use my um, slingers to cause some more wounds on the knight, uh, the hearth guard unit. I then charge my small five man unit into them because um, they're in range straight away. And then I spend the rest of my points to move my twelve man unit and take out his general. So with the hearth guard wiped out, his general wiped out, and one unit of warriors, um, I'd actually won, and it was another victory to the Anglo Saxons. So that was another fun game. I'm really enjoying these scenarios. They really um, have to make you think a lot more. They're not so much uh, the line up and bash the other ones are. Um, the fact that you can um, hide some of your unitness. Not only that, you actually get an extra point for having units that have not been revealed as well. So that's um, quite interesting. Well, I haven't seen the Midnight's Christie or the Saracens on a full charge. I've been lucky so far. So hopefully, I might be able to get some more games with these guys in the future. But until then, guys, I'll see you next time, and farewell us.